Hello, this is Palico Patch, and welcome back to more of the Curious Expedition. We are currently rocking it out with Marcus Garvey. Certain death, don't you know? We don't mess about here. And we're doing okay. We're doing okay. We've had three expeditions. They've all been profitable. They've all been profitable. They, they haven't been the most bloodless, should we say? It, it, there's, there's been a few accidents, should we say? But I'm okay. Well, I being Marcus Garvey are okay. We are still alive. We're still cracking on. The rest, they're, they're just players on, on this big theatre. That is Marcus Garvey's life. So, some have fallen. What can I say? Never mind. We'll get some more, no doubt. We're doing alright. Not going to let it bring me down. Now, it has been a while since I've recorded. It's been about... A week, seven days, I'd say, eight days. Not quite sure where we're at as far as uh, what's been offered to me here. So let's have a quick browse, shall we? We have the Unseen Drying Lands, a harsh and desolate place. Mm -hmm. Buried Golden Pyramid. We have the Looming Desert, Looming Desert, Scorching Heat and Sand, Buried Golden Pyramid. We have the Monster, oh, the Monstrous Burning Dry Lands. That could be very profitable. Mm. And then we have the Monstrous Jungle. They've all got buried pyramids. A region of high volcanic activity. A well-balanced region. We, I, I, I'm pretty sure I said that we'll be playing it safe. Now, I don't know if that means I'll go to the drylands. That's not really safe, is it? The monstrous jungle, I would say, is safe. But is that too safe? We're, we're pretty well ahead at the moment, aren't we? Um, we've got lots of money. Ah, oh, screw it. Let's do it. Monstrous was it? Monstrous burning dry lands. Early that morning, I made my way to the docks. The crew had preparations left to do, so I had one last pot of tea. The woman searching for her missing husband arrived at the docks. She was overjoyed as she laid eyes upon her beloved. They embraced passionately, crying tears of relief. I could not help but think that Louis Muller Bell acted peculiar, grabbing and holding his wife a bit too hard, almost strangling her in the process. I sincerely hoped for the best for them. Now, one thing which did come back at me. His name is Louis Muller Bell. What's her name this time? Irene Whittington. Married, you say? Married. Mm. I beg to differ, but I'm not one to judge. Go do your thing. We were given new funds to reward our deeds. 70. Nice. A collector of sorts approached me with a request. He asked us to obtain a mysterious idol that was said to be located in a native settlement in the area of our upcoming expedition. He promised to reward us handsomely if we were able to return with it. Well, why not? Let's give it a whirl. What's your name, son? Shabana Ka. Shabana Ka. Yeah. Shabana Ka. Uh, yeah. We'll do it. He nodded gratefully and wished us luck on our expedition. Hmm. The news of my glorious adventures had spread, so I was not surprised to see that stories of my exploits had lured all manner of intrigued personalities. I was approached by several capable persons that were learn that were to learn the truth of the story surrounding my endeavours. Yeah, got that out, okay. Who did I want to recruit? Are you that fog chap? Um, we have Hanan Sabah. Sabah? Han Hanan Sabah. Sabah! You've got to sing it. Hanan Sabah. Hanan Sabah. Yeah, that's it. Sabah. Uh, we have Captain Albert Carpenter. You don't sing his name. You chant it. Captain Albert Carpenter. No, stop that. <laughs> Sorry, I've, been, I've had lots of sugar today. And we have Brother Eugene, the missionary. Uh, now, let's see what's wrong with these guys. We've got claustrophobic, we've got sexist, and we have oh, free of all ailments. Except, not really a useful perk with Hanan. What do we have? We've got the sailor, two green dice. We have myself, a blue and a red. We've got the scout, which is a green. So, arguably, we could do with some more red dice so i'm gonna to have to go with captain albert carpenter welcome welcome we could use a combat focused fellow such as captain albert carpenter and welcomed him so at long last our vessel was ready to sally forth all right let's uh, let's have a look do we upgrade our pet our pet our donkey mr hawk we've got plenty of cash let's do it because we're bound to lose someone so let's do it an expert saddle builder offered to improve the carrying capacity of any of our animals. Her high quality work demanded a high price, but the additional carrying capacity would certainly benefit the expedition. I concur. 
let's do that. Clearly I could use the additional capacity for Mr. Hawk. After some tinkering, his pack saddle had been upgraded and allowed us to transport an additional crate. Hey! The saddle trader told me I was her favourite customer and offered additional improvements if I was willing to spend the coin. At long last, our ship was primed to put out to sea. Right. Ah! A tent. Taken. And alcohol. I'll we'll take that too. Uh, that leaves us with 132. No, no torches. So we'll take all the torches. We've got enough medipacks. We've got some costume flares. Let's take the rope. That leaves us with 87. How much is a dino mite? 10. So we'll, so we'll take all of those. Why not? Do I want any more costume flares? We're going to the monstrous, and it's dry land. So there might be some bushes. Let's take... Uh, do I want all those? Yeah, no, yeah. and we'll take as many machetes as we can. Eight machetes. So that's going to be uh, one, two, three, four. Taking them already. Five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're good, we're good. That'll do. I rejoiced as the vessel was ready to set sail. Let's go. Expedition 4, you know. Generating. It keeps coming up saying tragedy. That's not that's not good. Oh, oh, treasures? It's down treasures. Stories. Stories. We like a good story here. Ooh! That hasn't happened in a while. Or automatically in, in the uh, in the map. No sailing in for us. We must have come up out of a, a water hole, like Captain Nemo. I dare not recount the trials and tribulations of the voyage, but thankfully we arrived at our expedition area. We had arrived, and it was time to sally forth. Right, well, uh, let's crack on, I guess. Right, well, we've got one of one here. Uh, sorry, two, two and one. Lots of active volcanoes, not good. We're looking for a buried golden pyramid as well, which is also not too good. Uh, I think we'll do as we did last time and at least have a gander at what the question marks are before deciding whether to hit them or not. Uh, for instance, shrines will be left until the end. Oh, a camp. That's worth hitting now. We approached an old campsite. There were debris of what seemed to be a failed expedition from long ago. The water remains of what must have been an African explorer presented us with a toothless smile. African, that's a new one. All the bones we found had been cracked open and, as it seemed, sucked dry of their marrow. Oh, let's have a look. I was certain there were riches to be found here. We spread out and searched the area. To our surprise, one of the rotten crates still held some valuable equipment. Let's have a look. Ah, more machetes and some chocolate. Thank you all. Upon heading off, I noticed that Captain Albert Carpenter was not with us. Tarana Baba returned alone and was oblivious to his disappearance. She affirmed that the two of them got separated, so she had been searching on her own. We spent a while scouring the vicinity for the missing track member, but there was nought I could do. You were there for two minutes! You, you've been in the group for two whole minutes, and you've already disappeared. Oh, yeah, T Tarana Baba, the, the cannibal. Yeah, I remember you now, who goes off with our new, newest member, and suddenly he disappears, never to be seen again. Funny that, Tarana Baba. Okay, well, never mind. No, that's fine. We'll, we'll crack on. We'll crack on. Can't let it get us down. Let's, uh, let's, let's carry on. Right, shrine. We're hitting you last. I've learned that lesson before. 26. Right, let's have a whiskey. Let's go a little bit closer. Ah, the pyramid. Okay, so let's explore. We encroached upon a grand structure. It seemed to be the pinnacle of a golden pyramid, but for some reason its main body was buried. Its golden surface was patterned with all manner of alien symbols, some of which formed a kind of map. Ooh, let's have a look. After a period of an analysis, start that again. After a period of analysis, we could successfully comprehend the map. It was obvious that it showed some locations in this region. Maybe visiting them was necessary to unearth the golden pyramid. Ah, right, okay. Just the one? Just the one. Okay, okay, that's, that's doable, that's doable. Um, I think we better use up a climbing rope and have a, a gander around. 28, 31, 34. Uh, let's drink a couple of whiskies and have a look. Please show a way through. Right. 
so this is all pretty much blocked off which means we'll be looking for for a cave so that's not going to be a cave is it worth going to look at anyway hmm Probably not. Let's try this one first. 33. What do we eat a chocolate? That'll do. Hopefully these will erupt now. Oh dear. And set the that's it. Set the pan for light. Not as a light. Right, cave. Boom. We located a cave. The entrance led deep into the darkness of unknown depths. Didn't say deep there. We required a torch to uncover its mysteries. Let's have a look. We lit a torch and descended into the darkness. We arrived at a cave section. The walls were decorated with quite remarkable prehistoric paintings that depicted a route to an isolated region many miles away. We endeavoured to document them all for later research. Ah, so there we go. A new one. A new one. Uh, mm. Now, we could cheat here. We could cheat. Let's cheat. Let's pop that there. Um, we'll take one of those, which will take us to there. Right, there we go. That stopped leaking. Uh, then we can come up to here. Do we do that? Yeah, let's do that. So let's drink a whiskey. Uh, we'll take a chocolate as well. Oh, that's good for me. Yep, yeah, go. And explore this. We approached an immemorial structure that seemed to be partially made out of pure gold. We discovered a mechanism of sorts on one of the sides. With some effort, we would hopefully be able to trigger it. However, what would happen upon activation remained a mystery. It took us a while, but eventually we were adept enough to decrypt a mysterious mechanism. All of a sudden, an enormous column of light rose from the seal. Is this good or bad? Don't know. Oh, I'd say it's bloody good. Bloody good. We can get out of here as soon as we can. Uh, let's uh, let's try and loot a little bit more, I suppose. Um, we, we, we kind of decided on the map. We've If we blow this one up, we've made our way through now. Excellent. And then we need 33 up to that question mark. Um, okay, so whiskey and our chocolate should do that. Classic combination. If you like throwing up that is right oh shrine do we hit this shrine now it is a little bit out of the way isn't it i don't think we're coming back this way uh yeah let's hit the shrine examine we arrived at a long forgotten shrine its stone walls were covered with ornate engravings a circle of dried up blood had been drawn around the whole structure as a warning for anybody that dared to enter the structure was slightly tilted and subsiding although the ground seemed stable enough to attempt entry Hmm, well, let's attempt entry then. We had found a sacred altar room. We quietly looked around the majestic hall. We found a stone altar that was covered in ancient writings. Ah, gold. Right, so we, we'll take the golden dagger. Moonstone. Are we going to need a moonstone? Do you reckon it's threatening that we need a moonstone? I think it might be. Let's take it. What a glorious day. The treasure was to be mine. We grabbed what we could and dashed outside as the ground disappeared behind us. We would have to run for our lives to avoid being devoured by the giant chasm that was beginning to form. Ah, so we're probably going to lose this question mark here. Never mind, never mind. Right, so let's eat the chocolate. Let's eat two of the whiskies. That should get us far enough away. Uh, in fact, we can make it all the way to that question mark. Why not? Let's do it. Let's see how much this takes out. Go. By panther. There goes the panther. Oh, yeah, took the question mark out as well. Uh, thankfully, it hasn't taken our escape route, which is good. Good. Uh, let's head to the stone circle. We came across a stone formation that seemed to be man-made. There were inscriptions painted upon each rock. Perhaps they formed a kind of map. Zabadus seemed visibly upset at the idea of exploring this site and warned us about incurring the wrath of the gods. So, what do we need? We don't need ruins, really. If we come across any ruins, that's great. Uh, if we don't, that's fine. Uh, settlements would be helpful, so we can try and find that idol. Uh, camp points. There's obviously more camp points to find. Or caves. Uh, let's go for settlements. Zabadus made sure to voice his concerns to me. I was not sure how long it would take for him to come to terms with my decision. 
Boom and boom. Okay, where are they? Uh, one there, and oh geez, one way out of the way. Oh, the big crab. Oh, it's a scorpion. Big scorpion. It's not any better, really. Not any better. Uh, okay, well, they've just had the eruption down there. So that shouldn't kick out for a bit. Twenty-three. Let's drink a whiskey. Let's go up to there. Let's blow this. I'm I'm just all for blowing up crap today. Let's get to where we need to be. Explore the cave. We located a cave. The rocky moor led into the darkness of unknown depths. We needed a torch to uncover its mysteries. Let's have a look. We lit a torch and descended into the darkness. We found a small cavern jumbled with the debris of what seemed to be a failed expedition. The mangled remains of what, what must have been an oriental explorer. Mm. All the bones we found had been cracked open and, it seemed, sucked empty of marrow. Yeah. To our surprise, one of the rotten crates still held some valuable equipment. Ah, bullets and more machetes. Yay, and we'll drink our last whiskey. That is it. Time to start annoying that sailor. That's uh, 58. How far can we actually get? 28, 28, 27, 24, 23, 21, 20. Is that it? Uh, what to do, what to do? Um, well, yeah, why not? Let's, let's go to there. And then we'll have to get the torch, the torch, the tent out. The ongoing physical stress numbed our senses and led to ne negligent pathfinding. Harold Ed Carter stepped into a spear trap. It looked freshly placed. The spears were disguised in dirty water. The wound was surely infected. Not good. Okay, let's head to the camp. We assembled our camp. It only increased my yearning to sleep on a feather mattress again. Oh, dearie. We decided it would be a good idea to stay here to recuperate. All hope seemed to be lost. We barely managed to collect enough wood to light a campfire. I was sleeping well when I was awoken by laughter. Curious, I listened to them and noticed to my disappointment that Zabadus was mocking my quest for glory. The group immediately hushed when they noticed me, but I feared my credibility was already tarnished. Which one's Zabadus? He's just been bitten. Well, let him... Well, that bitten. He's been caught in the spear trap. He's going to be... He's gonna, no, or was it him? No, it was Harold. He was, he's just a superstitious guy. Well, let it go. We don't like... We don't like Tarana. She is the blight. She is the blight of this trek. She is the one that's going to kill me. I can tell you that straight off. So, uh, yeah, we'll let it slip. I decided that the circumstances were already stressful enough and did not want to make much noise over a comparatively minor event. Nevertheless, I observed with Zavidus shook his head dis Nevertheless, I observed that Zavidus shook his head disapprovingly. I wondered if he would now think less of me as the leader of this group. You can't mock me, let me ignore it, and then... Did you want me to stand up? Is that, was that it? Is this some sort of test? I don't know. I don't know. Enter the camp. We assembled our camp. It only increased my yearning to sleep on a feather mattress once again. I instructed the trek to halt and to recuperate. It was a pitch black night as we sat and stared into the fire. I awoke soaked in sweat from a nightmare I dreamt that Captain Albert Carpenter had returned, but his flesh had peeled away and he tortured me for the reason why I had let him into hell. What the hell? I awoke soaked in sweat from a nightmare. I dreamt that Captain Albert Carpenter had returned. But his flesh had peeled away and he tortured me for the reason why I had led him into hell. You, you, it was two minutes. You, you were in the group for two minutes. And then you, you got eaten by Tarana, the Persian translator. It had nothing to do with me. It had nothing. I'm, I, I refute. I refute that, that dream. Don't believe it. Rubbish. Uh, 70 out of 70. Let's go. Uh, let's, uh, yeah, we need to enter the camp, and uh, we need to pack it up. It was time to pack the camp and make headway. I told everyone to put the equipment back into the crate so we could depart. All right, and um, we need to make our way sort of in this direction. 31, 37. I don't think it's going to spread much further. Let's go to there. It should hopefully stop burning. Uh, bang on 40. Through the fire. That's never good to go through the fire. Uh, let's... Uh, where is it? Let's wait. There we go. 
And now we can go straight to it. They're, they're okay with us. Standing's okay. It's not the best. It's not the best, but I, I, I think now they'll, they'll be okay. We entered a native village. Today we reached the camp of a nomadic tribe. Upon our arrival, some villagers were busy decorating a peculiar-looking idol mm, that stood in the centre of their settlement. We tried not to disturb these rites while unpacking our crates. A precious-looking stone idol stood proudly in the heart of the village. The villagers observed us with caution. They were polite and offered us what they could. Upon our arrival, Taranat Baba began to converse with the natives. Right. Let's uh, let's trade first. Let's trade. Uh, right, we need food. So you can have... You can have... Well, you can, you can have the teeth. And we'll have the mangoes. And ooh. how how much for the elephant tusk? Are you can have the costume flares? Yeah. Deal. Deal. Yes, deal. I came to an agreement with the villagers, and uh, let's rest now. I told the team to unpack our things and prepare for the night. In a quiet moment, one of the village elders asked my opinion on the delicate manner of who had created mankind or humankind, should I say? Uh, God, evolution, or don't know? Well, didn't we answer God last time and he didn't really do anything, so let's go with don't know. We told him that he did. we did not know the answer to this question. He nodded quietly and seemed a bit disappointed with our answer. Well, what do you expect? I just, I don't know. I don't, I'm not going to lie to you. I, I, I told you from the bottom of my heart last time and you just brushed it off. So what, why should I give you the time of, time of day and give you a, a, a full deep on answer? You don't even talk, talk the same language as me. It's going for the cannibal. The cannibal's having to translate everything. So she's probably just saying how tasty I look in your language. I, I don't know. What do you want from me? What do you want from me, village elder? I don't even know which one the village elder is. Is it you? Julu? Village chief. It's Julu, isn't it? With your ginger-esque beard. Bastard. Right, what are we going to do? We've got no health. Uh, sanity. Let's sleep. I got a splendid night's rest. The next morning was bright and sunny, a perfect day for new adventures. The atmosphere was beginning to get somewhat tense. We could tell that the villagers wanted us to leave. I go place some plants by the idol. Okay, so let's rest once more. Uh, yeah, da, 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 da. A young warrior asked me if my village was superior to their village. No, local life is superior. We need to make him happy. I told him that I preferred a close proximity with nature and that I admired their way of life. They were visibly happy with my answer. Of course, of course, I'm such a charmer. And let's steal their idol. Boom. We took the idol rather covertly and departed the village post haste. Mm hmm. So I'm talking about uh, 102. Jeez. 102? Uh, okay, well, how far can we get? 65. Let's go to 65. To which point we'll eat the mangoes. Oh dear. Uh. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, we'll eat the mangoes anyway. They need to go. And um, we could do with healing up our sailor guy. We erected camp to tend to the injured. We used the first aid kit to treat the injuries of Harold Ed Carter. He felt much better afterwards. Awesome. We could upgrade some people. Uh, what are you? Increased viewing distance and extra information about the region. Uh, let's promote you. Extra set of dice as well. Boom. That'll do. Um, right. 55. Let's move to there. Uh, okay. Let's move back once more. Are we good there? Are you going to set any more online? No, it, it, we're good. We're, we're cosy. This is fine. This is fine. We erected our camp. Oh, the comforts of home were calling out to me. Let's rest. We settled down to recuperate. It was a pitch black night as we sat and stared into the fire. Everybody was lost in their own doubts. When suddenly Tarana Baba stood in front of the group and shouted into our faces that not all hope was lost. She expounded about never giving up. And after a while we started to cheer and applaud ourselves. She somehow rallied the group and instilled new hope. Uh, well, that's the missionary coming out in her. Quite literally. Right, okay, so the, the fire's died down. We're going to leave the camp up and we're going to go to the question mark and see what it is. Aha. Uh -huh. We approached a cave. Its opening led deep into the darkness of unknown depths. 
We needed a torch to uncover its mysteries. Okay, let's have a look. We lit a torch and descended into the darkness. We stumbled into a dead end. It bore fascinating vestiges of some kind of ceremonial tomb. Within were mummified corpses. Let's have a look. Many of the mummies would surely turn to dust if they were touched and not be of any intrinsic value. However, after a thorough investigation, one was robust enough to manhandle into a crate. Oh, and some gold gems. Gems, gems, gems. All right, so, well, we're going to take both. I think that means we're going to have to drop something, though. Possibly the spears. We'll have a look, we'll have a look. Uh, yeah, so we are definitely going to have to get back to camp. Four, 78. What are we going to drop? Uh, da -da -da -da. Well, we keep picking up bullets, so let's get rid of these bullets, because they weigh mm, stuff. <laughs> and on to the camp. Do we take on Bagheera? No, Bagheera's going away. Right. We assembled our camp. It felt almost like home. Rest. We prepared camp and allowed everyone to rest. Our morale was low as we sat by the campfire. Tarana Baba made a nasty comment about my capabilities as the spearhead of this trek and my absence of authority. I would much better fit doing miners tax. Well, screw you, Baba. Screw you. I confronted Tarana Baba and let him know that I would not tolerate such degro degro I can't even say the word. Derogatory behaviour. It was clear that she was humiliated by my view. Damn right, cannibal. Shut up. Shut up, Tarana. No one likes you. Anyway, back to being a professional now. Uh, where are we going to go? I think we'll have to head up, head back. It's it's getting a little bit risky. It's getting a bit risky. Um, I've got no way of gaining sanity other than hitting, well, question marks on the way back. Maybe the camp. We've got the other shrine to hit yet as well. Uh, yeah. Yeah, let's... Um, 55. Can we get to the other side? 33. How far can we get? Can we get all the way? Okay. Let's pack up the camp. Yep. And then... Why is it 255 now? Oh, because I'm carrying something. Uh... Okay, uh, let's drop the spears. I can lose the spears. 46, please don't flood whilst we're passing. You bastard. Let's get as close as we can. Stop. Um, we could attack. We're going to have to wait. Um, let's set up the camp if we're going to have to wait. There's the camp. Uh, rest. It was a rather cold night as we rested by the fireplace. I laid awake and listened to the dark wildlife surrounding me. It had been wondering if... It had me wondering if there was a way to anticipate the kinds of... I've done all this. Okay. We're going to try and leg it now. Uh, whilst we... After we pick up the camp. Pack it up. Right. So we're heading for this question mark. 36. I'd prefer to go that way around if at all possible. Thank you. Now we should lose. Oh dear, or not? Oh, it's only ah, oh, it's only the one. Right, let's kick ass. Let's kick ass. Um, let's see how we go first. Oh well, boom. Four and strong bleeding. I'll take that, and that, and that, and that. Shielded repost. Uh, that's well. Uh, let's pull two out. We'll have one of those. And one of those. Boom. We deprive the remains of anything useful. Nothing. Nothing is useful. Let's go. Just getting stuff for the sake of it. Right, do we have our campsite? We do. Alright, so. 35. Let's do it. Not too shabby. Oh. A waterfall. A waterfall. What a waterfall. Uh... Okay. Uh, we're going to explore this. Uh, the waterfall was something to behold. It was an awe-inspiring sight. The water was fresh and cool. Right, let's rest. We settled down to catch our breath. Not a sound was heard tonight as we sat and stared into the fire. 
Our people were growing tense, and a discussion between Zabadus and Tarana Baba escalated into a raucous argument. A raucous argument. A moment later, the pair were exchanging blows and trying to strangle each other with grave intentions. Well, we don't like Tarana, so that's it. Get down, get down. We tackled Tarana Baba and separated the two. The pair simmered down, but there lingered an air of hatred. Oh dear. Could have been worse. Could have been worse. We don't like the cannibal. After days of rest, we still enjoyed the peaceful home of the falling water. The natural beauty here was breathtaking to behold. Uh, well, let's rest once more. I instructed the trek to halt to catch our breath. Not a sound was heard tonight as we sat and stared into the fire. There was turmoil in the group. Zabba just pointed at a vulture that was circling above us. According to him, this was a bad omen for our venture. Shoot it down with a marked bullet. Or we just shoot it down. Well, let's shoot it down with a, a marked bullet. I selected a marked bullet to take the vulture down with a well-placed shot. It fell to the ground with a dull thud. Zabadus was as shocked as he was relieved. Ah, meat. No time. And that should take us back up to full, full sanity? No? Explore? Oh, is that it? Is that all you're giving me? I get nothing for that. I get nothing for killing the vulture. Uh, okay, well, we're going to have to rest once more. Uh, tonight we had a paranormal incident. The ghosts of dead natives approached us. They told us they had been killed by unnatural monsters that were breeding in a nearby cave. If we would avenge them and hunt down the monsters, they promised that they would find a worthwhile magical reward on their corpses. Well, let's have a look. We accepted their plea and vowed to hunt down their killers. They seemed grateful and told us about the location of a cave. Afterwards they disappeared into the night whence they came. I'm not going back there. I am not going back there. I, I'm sorry. I don't care how magical your item is. I am not travelling half a map over to find out. I just don't care that much. I'm, I'm, I just don't care. I am beyond that. I am beyond caring. I am carrying far too much gold and far too much ivory to, to warrant worrying about a ghost revenge. And, that, and that's it. That's all I have to say about that. A tomb. A small, a small pyramid just barely reached out of the dunes. It is likely to be a grave built by an ancient civilization. A small opening led into the darkness. This is where I'm going to die, by the way. This is where I'm going to die. We stumbled into the pyramid. It seemed to be rather old and had remained untouched for a long time. In the centre of the room lay a stone sarcophagus. Zabadus seemed visibly upset at the idea of exploring this site and warned us about incurring the wrath of the gods. Let's have a look. Dust filled the air as we pushed the heavy lid off the sarcophagus. Inside, we discovered a perfectly preserved mummy. All of a sudden, it started to groan and limp towards us. Of course! Of course. <sighs> right, so it has got 20. We have got lots of dice. Lots of dynamite. We just need to survive. Just need to survive. Oh dear. Right, okay, that's all. Right, so we could have that and that. Observation, no. What's that and that? Evade. What about if we threw some bullets in here? How many bullets can we have? Three bullets this round and a dynamite. What's open to us? Dynamite explosion. Precise explosion. Hmm, not really feeling that. I need the head for that. So what we got here? Attack. With that. Precise attack. Punctuation. No, I need the blues. I need the blues until I get the head. So how about that? Cutting the post. Let's do it. Let's do a repost. Let's do two repost to get the shields up. We'll hold on to the. the hmm, they don't need to be held on to. They'll roll anyway. <gasps> oh dear! I pressed the wrong button. Oh, that's not good. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, I've just lost all them as well. Oh my god. Oh, shit, 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 uh, I'm going to flee, I'm going to flee, <laughs> our only hope was to about face and flee, the team was left incredibly anxious and exhausted, shit, <sighs> okay, so who, who is close to death? Zabadus is close to death. Right, okay, let's heal up Zabadus first. We assembled a camp to tend to the injured. Get him up. We used the first aid kit to treat the injuries of Zabadus. He had more colour in his cheeks afterwards. 
Can we make it to the... They're not going to like us, are they? They're not going to like us. Okay. Um... Oh. Let's set up the camp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rest, rest, rest. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, you what? I we prepared camp to catch our breath. One soul was staring back from the abyss. We barely managed to collect enough wood to light a campfire. I suspected the worst when I saw Taran and Baba sneak back into camp with blood on her face. I searched for hours but could not find no trace of Zabidus. She's going to have to go. She's going to have to go. Uh, right, okay. So, let's go to the camp. I don't even care at this point how much it's going to take me. Let's just get to the camp. We need to trade some stuff in. What are you eat? Who are you eating now? Oh, you what? Anxiety spread amongst the group. How old a Carter told us he'd been so nervous that he dropped an item drawn on her last leg. <sighs> we carefully approached a mysterious native village. The group were a sight to behold, a group of skilled scouts. We were not the only visitors to this village. A wandering trader and self-proclaimed beastmaster had displayed a few mysteriously covered crates. The villagers had been awaiting us. They surely had advance word of our arrival. They were cautious, but politely offered their help, perhaps to see us leave sooner. Right. Um, then we're not going to be able to get anyone to come back with us. So let's uh, trade. Uh, you can have... We need as much as we can get. Well, how much are the teeth worth? A lot. Oh, against rope? Mm. A mummy? Ivory? Gold? Really? You can keep them. You can keep them. Uh, we want jewels and we don't care for torches. We care for berries. And you can have one more rope. And you can have one more machete. And I'll have a couple of rope back. Let's have... Th no? Uh, okay, you can have... Yeah, just give me my rope back. That's fine. That's fine. We can live with that. We're just trying to accumulate money for next go now. Uh, rest, please. The natives were willing to let us rest in an empty hut. However, they demanded a gesture of goodwill from, from me because of our disrepute. Okay, now you can have my rope. All of my rope. And my medikit. Okay. Um, how about I have my medikit back and you have a bullet? Really? You don't like bullets? Okay. Um, okay, have the medikit. And I will have... Oh, I'll just have a bit of rope back, I guess. Two rope. That's fine. After we reached an agreement with the villagers, I told the men to unpack and prepare our things for the night. This night, the villagers held a ritual ceremony. They offered us a bowl of cooked meat that had a disgusting aroma to it. Supposedly, it would taste like chicken. Let's eat it. We did not want to offend the natives, so ate from the bowl. The night was quiet and peaceful. The next morning I was awoken by a group of native children, surely poking fun at the strange foreign fellow. It was obvious that we had stressed the hospitality of the villagers more than politeness would dictate. Well, let's go. We got ready and headed out, as new adventures could be waiting over the next ridge. The villagers were glad to see the back of me. The following days I had the uncomfortable feeling of being watched. Right, well, okay. Okay. Let's collect our camp. Are you kidding me? I sat at the night fire after a tiring day when Harold Ed Carter loomed over me. I was ready for yet another verbal duel, but instead he offered truce. After consideration, he now appreciated some of the hard decisions I had to deal with and was willing to accept my wisdom. Ah. Ah. Uh, let's enter the camp. Pack it up. And head up to the pyramid. What's that? 50? 46. We can handle 46. Right, so let's claim the pyramid. The pyramid of gold beckoned us to glory or victory, even. We saw some fun and some begets baguette success of Fernandez Midlas. Now all I needed to do was get back to our vessel. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, 31, 39. Uh, can we camp it up here? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, let's rest. Not a sound was heard tonight as we sat and stared into the fire. Tonight, Harold Ed Carter was feeble excuse for a comrade. He incessantly whined about a splinter and asked if he could have a drink. We have no alcohol. I told Harold Ed Carter to quit making a fool of themselves. He was out of his mind and seemed to shiver from a cold while sitting by the campfire. Damn alcohol. 
alcoholic. Damn alcoholic. 65 to 70. Right, let's pack up the camp. Boom. And then on to here. We're just hoping for extra stuff now. We need we need gold. Ah, shrine. A large building loomed in front of us. Its stone walls were covered with ornate engravings. The pools that led inside emitted an eerie chill. A thick layer of sand seemed to surround the structure. We like sand. We carefully entered a well-preserved ceremonial chamber. If this place held any riches, I knew we would find them here. We found a stone altar that was covered in ancient writings. Ah, thank God, another moonstone. Thank God. I would not leave empty-handed. The artifact would sit atop the altar no longer. We took whatever we could and proceeded outside as everything behind us began to wither and die. A drastic climate shift ravaged this region, and we were responsible. Oh dear. Well, never mind. Never mind. Um, let's get to that there on here. Now, oh, I've never come dead last before in an expedition. How long have we gone? 244 days. Wow. Right, we need to set up camp. And enter the camp. We assembled our camp. Oh, the comforts of home were calling out to me. Let's rest. We decided it would be a good idea to stay here to catch our breath. All hope seemed to be lost. It was difficult to ignite the fire, depressingly so. We heard something rustle the bushes nearby. We were surprised to see natives dressed in animal pelts. Well, let's invite them. We invited them to join us. They gladly accepted and sat down, sharing stories by the warming fire. Ooh, let's try and recruit. After some negotiation, one of them was indeed willing to join our trek. We invited them to join us. They gladly accepted and sat down, sharing stories by the warming fire. Well, now let's trade. Ah. Right, you've got an elephant tusk. And we've got dynamite, rope, and a bullet. Hey, that's, that's good. We invited them to join us. They gladly accepted and sat down, sharing stories while a warming fire. The natives stood up, thanked us for the hospitality, and headed into the darkness. Good. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Ah, oh, heartbroken. Superstitious. Uh, we're going to keep, we're not going to bother upgrading you until we've done the rest. That's 32. So we can get back okay. Uh, let's pack up the tent and enter the shrine. We arrived at a long forgotten shrine. Its stone walls were covered with ornate engravings. Low hanging vines partially concealed the entrance that led within. Celestial symbols of the sun, moon, and stars were carved on the various surfaces of the structure. See, it was good. It was good for me to leave this shrine till the end. Let's enter. Before, but, uh -huh. Before us lay some kind of ceremonial room. If this place held any riches, I knew we would find them here. We found a stone altar that was covered in ancient writings. Ah, oh, lots of gold. Let's take it all. There was not a day of hesitation. Well, this was not a day of hesitation. The treasure was ours for the taking. As we took what we came for, I noticed a black nothingness began to form atop the altar, like a pinprick in the flesh of reality. It was expanding steadily, visibly, destructively. All we could do was run as far away from it as possible and hope. That's fine. We're going home. Let's go home. 39, 40. Right, let's screw it. Let's, let's use it all up. Screw this place. I'm off. Our vessel was still offshore when we anchored it. Excellent. Being here... Ma Got a bit overexcited there. Being here almost felt like the safety of home. Well, let's sail home victoriously. With all the compiled information on the Golden Pyramid, my work here was done. I took one last moment to glance at the explored land. Our vessel set a course for London. I looked forward to sharing the tale of our adventure. After such an endeavour, great joy overcame me. I knew that the name Marcus Garvey would be respected within the community of intrepid adventurers. I congratulated Suji Willow, but instead of joy I saw sadness. He prefers to stay here. Uh, so we can convince them to stay. We've got lots of blue dice, or can let them go. Let's convince. Let's convince. Are you kidding me? Three blue dice, we can't roll ahead. Sugi Willow decided to stay in his home country. Well, thank you for helping me get to where we needed to get anyway. Leave the horror behind. Yeah, by the way, I am leaving you to uh, an, an ever-expanding abyss, which is going to swallow you, uh, and all your existence is just going to be eaten up. But that's fine. If you want to stay, that's fine by me. Success! All right, so our current fame is pretty high, thankfully. We get some stuff for the Golden Period and the fact it was a secret world. But no speed bonus, which is not good. But overall, not not a bad turnout. We've had worse. We've had worse. Uh, let's finish. Bravo! Bravo! 
hiccup. Right, so we get to choose from a polyglot. Allows one to rest in 80 villages with outstanding cost and increased gained sanity, which is the same as having a Persian translator. Hmm. Now we also have Desert Explorer, reduce movement costs in deserts, and we have Adept, receives an additional support die. We're doing okay for support die, I'm not too fussed about Desert Explorer, I am fussed about getting rid of this bloody cannibal. That is the bane of my exhibition, again. So, um, you need to go, so Polyglot it is. So kind of you, yeah, so kind of me getting rid of you. Right. Well, we, we, we're okay. We're comfortably in second place. Just. Just. Got a bit to sell, mind. So, uh, let's sell the jewels. Uh, we'll gift the gold. Sell the ivory. So, that's 181. That only puts us a little bit behind. So, let's gift the mummy. That puts us a bit of head. Uh, we want to be at least 150 ahead. So, what's that? 80-odd. Uh, so, if we gift that... That's 40. Fame 70. Let's sell that. So that's 221. We didn't get the idols. So we're not going to get anything off that. Uh, we are definitely... Well, we're a little under 150 ahead. So, do I gift that? Or should we take the money? It's only worth 40. We're bringing a few things back. It's all basic rations, and we don't have to buy a tent this time. Let's gift it. Let's play it safe and gift it. So we are way ahead now. Awesome. Awesome. A bit of a rocky one, that. We got through it. We're pretty much where we started, minus maybe one Trek member. We've got to get rid of that that cannibal. She's, she's the bane of our existence. Uh, she needs to go. So we need to see who we can get to replace her. Hopefully we can get a, a, a you know a decent a decent person. She was useful, although we've got the perk now, which makes her less so. Although we are giving away three region points, but well, if it means we don't get someone else eaten next go, that's good enough for me. Anyway, let's have a look. We've got the golden jungle. Uh, we have the Guajaja burning drylands, the Yalampani desert, and the mysterious jungle. Uh, I think we all know where we're going to be going next time. We like taking on the bonus maps. They are a bit more interesting, if not harrowing, but uh, they do definitely drop a lot more gold. But as I said, that's next time. Thank you for watching. As always, a like is appreciated, and I'll catch you on the next one. Take it easy.